This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedowns right away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's for the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Bazooka. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Roos. The Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Let's do it. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Strong knee strike there. Good counter right. Blocks the shot there. Oh, nice work with the knee there by Lee. Oh, nice inside kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lands a nasty body kick. We march on three minutes to go. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target.
kick to the body now. That one won't land. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. Cup. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Up to the head lands, flush there by Lee. Another strike to the head lands. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Big kick. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Leg kick now. Oh, big elbow. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this. I mean, it's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Wow. Round two is next. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, huge left. Big power shot there. Massive hit kick. Jab, jab lands. Oh, good block there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That left hook was crazy. Devastating uppercut. Three minutes and change to go in round two. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. He is going after that overhand right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Under a minute to go. Use your hands to set up that low kick now. Great block there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just misses with that one. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. 
All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here at this next round of time. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line. He's hurt. He's wobbling. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. That's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, useful left hand. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, big left hook there. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Ninety seconds to go now. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Nicely done to the body. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Until he blocks it, you gotta keep throwing those body kicks. Oh, nice little right hook there. Final seconds of round three. Oh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the up. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Nice left hand. Beautiful 
terrible job getting those hands up. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Fighter lands a kick now, and a pretty good one at that. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing his kick over and over again. Let those hands go. Oh, nice yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, he's hurt. Still plenty of time with which to work here work, round work, four. Work. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Right on the button. Oh, spinning heel kick, and it lands. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Side control now. Round and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be played. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch positioning, you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Ooh, nice straight left hand. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight. A few strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice body kick there. Right. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fifth and final round. Oh, he didn't like that one. Lee going for the body, missed with that kick. Nice punch to the head. Oh, and he found the target again. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Come on, let's work. Back to the jab now, no good. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, goes upstairs and lands with the high kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Head kick land. Take 
Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Lee gets caught with that punch. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. What a strike from off of his back. Lee getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground-and-pound strikes. Knee to the body, that can't feel good. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, so an epic 25 minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers.